Oh, Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Huh? Come here, come here. Slowly, slowly, come here. Wubusha. Careful, go slow, slow. Man, man. Shouda, Zajir. But be careful, because even at this age, still very dangerous. My name's Kevin Messenger. I'm from North Carolina, USA, and I work at Nanjing Forestry University at the College of Life Sciences. Well, let's go there to have a look. Okay. Daisy, huh? right there. Hey. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's great. Here, here. Oh, awesome. Okay, so enjoy your catch. Right. Uh, so this is my wife, Daisy. Uh, Li Yechang is also her, her Chinese name. Mm -hmm. and this was actually the first, very first snake she ever touched in the wild uh -huh. about a year ago. Uh -huh. At that time, I was sick. At that time, you were very afraid of snakes. Not anymore. And now, yeah, now you can catch your own snakes. My father is a veterinarian, so from a young age, I've had exposure to animals pretty much every day of my life. After graduating from college, I um, came to China's Shandongjia to study the reptiles and amphibians there. During that expedition, I saw many, many species, which I found very exciting. And because of that, I decided to come to China, live in China full time, and study these animals for my career. So this is Wu Shan, and this is about my 10th time here. So in 2013, I found a new species of frog here uh, that likes to come out after rainstorms. So I named it Yuchan Zhaochan. He has a different call from the other species here. So I'm curious to see if we'll see them here again. Oh, Daisy, look, Ooh. right here. Look, look, look. Yuchan. Yuchan ma? Yep. Your... They're so cute. Yeah, they're super cute. China is one of the most biodiverse countries in the world, and Wu Shan specifically is one of the most ecologically balanced places I've ever been to in China. In Guadun Village, um, where I discovered Yuchen Zhaochan, more than 60 vertebrate species have been found from that location. In January of 2024, the Ministry of Ecology and the Environment released the China Biodiversity Conservation Strategy and Action Plan, aiming to preserve the natural habitat so that all animals, plants, birds, and even microorganisms in China can have an ancient and sustainable home. Four point nine one, fifteen point four eight, forty one point four one. It was a very clearly I wanted to work in China. The research freedom I get is significantly higher than what I would have in the in the U.S. The amount of time I have to do my work and the research opportunity. So as I've said before, work in, in the U.S. most herpetology work has already been done. There is nothing new really to explore in the U.S. But in Asia, China, Asia, anywhere in this region, there's still lots and lots of new species, new places that haven't been fully explored. So the, the opportunity is more important than anything else, the different topics that I can possibly do research on. With permission from Wushan National Park, I will bring some specimens back to Nanjing Forestry University. I'll share these uh, specimens with my students, with my colleagues. We'll analyze the data together, 
I think this is a very meaningful and collaborative effort between me and Wu Shan. Sounds like Ben. Why? So this is my book, The Asian Rat Snakes in Ken of Greater China. It introduces 19 species of rat snakes from China. Um, right now I'm working on my second book, The Venomous Snakes of China. These two books should provide more um, knowledge about the biodiversity of China. And um, I did it because it's needed. So part of my effort these days is to try to make the biodiversity of China more readily accessible to non-Chinese speakers. <laughs> In March of 2024, I got married to my wife, Daisy Li Yechung. So now I guess I'm kind of a son-in-law to China. <laughs> Nanjing is a really old city. It's the, uh, one of the capitals at one point in time but yet it's still very up-to-date and international. That's so good. To live in Nanjing, I'm very happy. It can be very relaxing. And now I kind of see Nanjing as a second home. Oh, 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 hey, hey, look, 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 look. Hey, hey, yep, right here. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. Shanling Shu, right? Yeah, Xenopeltis. Damn. Hu Jian Fu Yeqing. Zi Hui, Zi Hui. Yu Ban Jin Shu. Chinese name is Dun Tou Shu. Probably one of the most beautiful things in the world, in my opinion, is uh, simply to be passionate about something. So if it's your work, if it's your wife, as long as you have passion about it, it's, it's a great thing. <laughs>